Hey guys, Vigman here and welcome back to yet another episode of Clips. Uh, today we're going to be working on something very special. We're starting to build a part of the main castle of Clips. We're building the keep where the royal family would be staying. This here is in the castle named Bjarnheim, which is the main castle of Clipstead and this part we're currently building the main keep is one of the only things that's pretty much intact after the Norsemen conquered Clipstead from the Westers a hundred years ago so the style we're doing here is going to be very very special in that way because it's gonna it's gonna use some other detailing designs architectural features than we have used in the rest of Clipstead to symbolize that this is a part of what's left from the Westers, which were more of a civilized um, society people. So on the inside here, we're gonna have a lot of cool features, cool walls, paintings, and things like that, just making the whole area look very, very royal, and also look super nice. And I've got some, some feedback and stuff from the people on the server. Everyone seems to like it, so I hope that you guys will enjoy this as well. First off, we're just building the walls here as usual with some colors and things and then just using some brushes uh, like we're doing here to just kind of fill it all in with the blocks that we want to have. Going for this uh, slightly lighter stone patch uh, texture thing, which I really, really like how it turned out. And then we're going to have like this small, you can see the brown wool part is going to be wooden extensions with like... Um, Machiculations and stuff like that, so kind of like hoardings, I guess, which looks like temporary, but they're pretty much on the castle for most of the time. Uh, but this building here, uh, for the inside, is going to be pretty much just for like the private things of the royal family. So there's no thrones, throne hall, or stuff like that. Um, there's no professions in here, it's pretty much just uh, a feast hall, a kitchen a small private temple and then bedrooms kind of there's a small uh, living room with a big nice fireplace and uh, some stuff like that and also a little bit of defensive areas for uh, the private guards of the royal king or the royal person of clips he's not a king exactly so um the guard protecting him would also have a small area to live here and also a little bit of a sleeping quarters for uh, the servants of clips and, and especially the, um, the servants of the royal family here so when we're building the rest of the castle which is all the colored wool you can see in the back here we are going to to add a lot of more different features uh, like a big throne hall and then we're gonna have a bakery and a bigger kitchen and a wine cellar and a small blacksmith and kind of everything the the royal family would need uh, to kind of have it in his own area, but then for his own private area to stay safe and kind of isolated from everything He has this small uh, keep kind of extended from the main castle on this rock in the water here, which looks super nice It's kind of this um, Pike Look uh, from the Game of Thrones series if you haven't seen that and uh, then just like these castles on big very very steep rocks in the middle of the ocean and I kind of wanted to have something like that. So um, I think it turned out pretty cool. So let me just kind of build all of this done here. We're going to add a lot of details to the main castle. And then uh, a lot of details to the landscaping surrounding it as well. To the to cliffs and stuff like that. And um, building a nice drawbridge. Not a drawbridge, but um, a hanging bridge from uh, the main castle into the keep and things like that. So it should be very fun. So let me just build this. Sit back, relax, and I will see you in first person to uh, take a look on the inside.
Okay guys, welcome back. Now we are going to take a small look at uh, Bjornheim's keep in first person. Just look at the keep right here. I really, really like it. It has a lot of... Let me get into the F1 view here. It has a lot of personality and a lot of cool features which really, in my opinion, make it look super nice. So, we're gonna walk along this hanging bridge here, rope bridge, which is a little bit scary. Um, down there you can see there's some spikes and dead bodies from being thrown from here. And then, we just gotta walk along here like that. And then we have a small balcony in the front here with some stuff. And then a big gate to get on the inside. We are now on a new update of um, the Conquest 3 Forge mod. So something may look a little bit weird. Like these chandeliers have changed. Um, this one has also changed. And now it's floating. Alright, so there's a few stuff that we need to kind of sort out. I saw that the biome colors has changed a lot as well. So maybe there's some stuff we need to kind of um, work out. But anyway, uh, you can see here I'm trying to make it feel like... Um, the style of this keep is not the style of the normal Norsemen. So they kind of conquered this, that's kind of the lore we have. They conquered it from the Westers and they had this more ornate style. So this whole room here just looks so cool and the colors and things like that. It kind of uh, looking like the English uh, or British um, castles and stuff like that with this uh, colored and painted walls on the inside. I just think it looks super nice. And here we also have um, the private temple, which is very nicely detailed and bright with a lot of stuff. Uh, has some of the same symbols as the main stave church of Clipsid as well. And this, of course, is the feast hall. We can go down here into the main rock itself underground. And then we have a wine cellar or a buttery right here for some. Uh, ale and wine and stuff and then we have a kitchen and uh, the private kitchen of the noble family Which I think looks very nice uh, I can see that some of the colors have changed here as well Onions is a little bit brighter and stuff. That's very cool. If you haven't checked out this mod for yourself check it out now. It's um, It's like this new app that allows for survival and stuff like that uh, You also have this arrow slits in the side here like that and like here and you can see that the walls in this building is, is extremely thick and that is something I really want to implement here so you can see that we have four block thick walls uh, and that just makes the whole building super defensive in here they're also very thick like that uh, I can go up here in the main staircase and then you can go into the wall itself and then you can come up here into like this small gatehouse where there's some matriculation down here and then some arrow slits towards the main rope bridge and then another arrow slits into this side here looking down like that just for defensive purposes we can walk up here and get to the second floor which still has this very cool ornate feel to it uh, but we make it look like it's worn out it's old this new Norseman doesn't really care so there's like this some stone exposed in the walls and stuff like that um, then we have like the main living room uh, with a nice fireplace and some bookshelves and things like that uh, Just relaxing here and then we have an exit to a small balcony in the back here uh, Which is very nice. You can see that the color has changed quite drastically in the main cross here But I guess we can make it you can work with that. Uh, oh, that's a new design as well. Very nice. Then we're just gonna walk around here like that. Um, in here we have the servants quarters. So they have a small like um, bathroom thing for their own, like this wardrobe thing. And we can close that and get into the sleeping area they have as well. With some windows looking out like that. Uh, and yeah, it's kind of cool. I really like that. Some bunk beds and things like that. Uh, there's a quite a few servants serving the royal, uh, royal family of Clipstead. In here we have a small breakfast room or just like this a small room where you would be eating your own like smaller uh, meals and stuff like that you wouldn't go all the way down and uh, you can also see here the thickness of the walls uh, to get into the window right there but yeah it's yeah kind of a neat small building right here like that I, I like this room very much uh, in here we have a small like wardrobe and things for the royal family look out here is more like an extension on the wall here 
and just clean yourself up a little bit. This one is messed up. Can I fix you? No. Um, rack. Yes, towel rack. Okay. All right. Crap. We're breaking everything here. Uh, can I place you here then? Okay, so it's kind of this inverse thing. All right. All right. I can live with that. Uh, there's some glitches and stuff, you know, um, with the new update. Uh, in here, kind of built into the main structure itself is uh, the shitter, where where the people will be taking a shit. You can see down there is a lot of poop and stuff already laying on the ground. Um, that's kind of like just hidden away in here like that. We can go up the staircase here, and then we get to the main uh, sleeping areas. This is the main ba bedroom, the, the great master bedroom. For uh, the parents, I guess, and then we have two bedrooms for the children of the family. Uh, so there's two beds here and things like that, and two beds here as well. From here, you can go out into a small uh, yard on top here, looking down at the entrance with some arrow slits and these crenellations like that, and just some storage. Uh, right, you guys are really messed up. Why are you like that? Oh, all right. So yeah, you can see there's really a lot of issues when you're converting to a new version like that. But all right. Um, and then just a small like tower here with another like arrow slits to shoot down at them like that. It's kind of nice, I guess. Uh, and then let's go back in here. Go up the staircase once more. And then we're getting to a small like this extension here where there's some just like windows looking over the water here like that uh, you can also go in here and get to this small yard on top of the castle so this is all surrounded by walls and i really like uh, this feature here you can go up the staircase here and get up on top of the castle wall looking down like that i really like that and gives a nice defensive position and also you can hide yourself all the way down here and you will be very safe and uh, there's also some arrow slits built into the wall here like that and over here as well and in this uh, door here is kind of the military base for defending the keep of Bjarnheim so uh, this is like the general will be sitting here the officer whatever and then we'll have some people like guards and stuff sitting here taking commands you can go out here, go down this staircase here, and then you will be getting to another like layer here. And you can fall down like I just did, uh, and shoot uh, at like people coming with boats and stuff. This uh, this keep here would be very very hard to attack due to its location like that. And I just really really like how it's climbing on top of the mountain, just holding on. And yeah, I think it looks super nice. Let me know what you think down below guys. I'm stoked for it. Thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vigo, man. And I'm out.